What's up guys, Rare Spark here, and welcome to another episode of WWE Supercard Tuesday. That's right, it is Tuesday, it is Supercard Day, and we are waiting for the PCC event to be announced. So that's going to be the theme of this episode, so I apologize I haven't made a video in quite a couple of days here in terms of Supercard. And uh, for those who are looking for NBA 2K, don't worry. That'll be coming out later today, either at 3 p.m. or 8 p.m. I haven't really decided yet, but it will be a spark at the park. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll update you guys on the Kevin Owens circumstance. So the reason I wasn't able to make a video when I was getting Kevin Owens, so I apologize, you guys won't see that, but was because I was at a family party on Sunday and I didn't finish it until about two hours before the event ended so I wasn't able to like wait it out and go home so I had to do it at my cousin's house and we ended up getting Kevin Owens right there so you'll see him completed like I said I only had two hours left so I was kinda taking it lazy taking it slow this RTG trying to take my time but we also got Bray Wyatt so that'll give us another Wrestlemania Pro and as you can see all the way to the right we are officially done with Survivor Card Superstars, anyway, in my Road to Glory deck. Now, Ro Bray Wyatt hasn't been pro yet in the screenshot, so bear with me. I'm going to be working on him in the coming days and stuff. Uh, he should be done, hopefully, by the next Road to Glory. I haven't been playing Supercard as much, but I, I'm, I want to get back into it, you know. I want to try and jump back into it. So there he is, Kevin Owens, for those who may have not seen him yet. I, I imagine you guys have. But there he is, the stats, Kevin Owens looking nice, and uh, so I'm very excited to have him. Um, he's another down arrow, which is cool, changes up my King of the Ring a bit. I want to make some changes to my King of the Ring, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I'm either going to maybe swap out Kevin Owens or Randy Orton. The reason I have Randy Orton in there is because I want to be able to combat Kevin Owens, because a lot of people are going to use him in singles matches, and Randy Orton, as you can tell, beats Kevin Owens in three out of the four categories. Uh, obviously, Kevin Owens is the toughest in power in the game, so Randy Orton's not going to beat him there. But yes, Randy Orton beats Kevin Owens in three stats, so he's kind of in there to combat him, and he also is tag compatible with Kane. So this is the reason I set up my team, because it gives me a lot of options. I have Daniel Bryan as a solo there. It was tough for me to take out Seth Rollins. I Like I said, this is not going to be 100% the King of the Ring team. Uh, I haven't been playing King of the Ring too much anyways, because, like I said, I'm done with WrestleMania cards. I might jump into it again when I start playing. Like I said, I'm going to be playing a bit more uh, this coming week, because I haven't been playing as much. But I, I think I'm going to jump back into it. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this layout. I made it for Battleground. I thought it came out pretty nice. It's just, you know, simple edit to uh, my Payback one, because my Payback one had a gray background. Uh, I'll show you real quick what it looked like, if I can. Yeah, Payback looked like this, so I just showed you real quick. So it was a quick edit of that one, as you can see. And uh, I think it came out nicely. I like it. It fits the Battleground theme of, like, the digital hexagons and stuff like that so i think it came out nice but let me know in the comments below what you guys think so anyways as you can see this is my team not going to be finalized you got to keep brett in there he's the best one of the best cards solo in the game um triple h and kane i probably could take out kane but the only reason i don't is to keep uh two compatible tag partners but i really probably don't need to so one of these guys is probably going to go in uh, just to take him out and put in either Seth Rollins or, um, you know, let me see. Let's go ahead and go to ratings and sort by. Either Seth Rollins or John Cena is probably going to replace uh, Kane. I haven't really decided yet. Um, Rollins is the op probably the number one option because Rollins is just good in matchups against Daniel Bryan and stuff like that. So that's why... I and I also trust Rollins in solo matches as well. But John Cena is another intriguing one because he's got pretty good matchups and stuff like that as well. So not really sure what I'm going to do with my King of the Ring team yet. But I'm not going to be starting a King of the Ring until most likely Wednesday. Because I have to work the next couple days. And I don't really like to have to worry about King of the Rings while I have to work. Because uh, it's hard for me to focus on them. And I end up losing. So... Usually, I like to do when I have a couple days off, and I should have a couple days off after Wednesday. So, 
I'm looking to probably start one after Wednesday, uh, either Wednesday night or you know Thursday morning ish. Uh, so that's when I'm going to be starting my King of the Ring. But anyways, so we got Kevin Owens. Very excited for that. And we're going to be working on Bray Wyatt in the next coming days. So let's go ahead and start my predictions part. So we're going to leave the screen now. And I'm just going to discuss with you guys what you think the PCCs might be. Now, the hint, spoilers, if you guys don't want to know what the PCC, I guess. They didn't give it out. So it's not really a spoiler in my opinion. But the hint was that it was... The, hold on actually, let me pull up the exact quote for you guys so I can uh, give that to you guys. So the hint is, here's a clue about this week's PCC. It was a match at Money in the Bank. People are worried that it's going to be a PCC diva. Now personally, I really hope so because I'm ready for a PCC. And if it's a Divas one, I am going to go for it. And I am going to get the Diva PCC card for sure. I don't care if it's 25k points. I don't care. I'm going for that PCC card. Um, Logic also throws out the fact that it could be... Uh, it's not going to be Rollins versus Dean. They both have event cards. Uh, Dean actually lost in a PCC recently already. And Rollins has his RTG card. I'm just thinking of the matches here. John Cena already has a card. Kevin Owens already has a card. So that match is thrown out. Um, the only options really to pick from is the tag matches and the Money in the Bank or the Divas matches. So it's going to be one of those three. I believe Logic threw the other ones out the window. It's not going to be BNB or uh, R-Truth. We know that from the pre-show. I'm trying to think of the other matches they had. Could be, they're not going to do Sheamus because he already recently had one. Um, they're obviously not going to do Ryback. So Big Show's out of the question as well because obviously they were in the match together. The only thing, here are what the uh, forms, the 2K forms is come up with, has come up with. Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston because they're the only members of the Money in the Bank ladder match without a WrestleMania event card. Titus O'Neil or Big E. This is another option people think that could be, but if that's the case, I'm not going to be going for it. Roman versus Bray. If they wanted to, you know, maybe do something like that, they could try that because Bray and Roman both don't have event cards. And Bree and Page or Nikki and Page. So either one of those works well. Um, I'm really hoping for a Divas one because I know I can get PCC cards and there'll only be 200 of them and it would be amazing. So that's what I'm hoping for, but a lot of people think it's going to be either Ziggler and Kofi or Roman and Bray. So I'm going to throw out my prediction and say it's going to be a Divas one and I'm hoping it's a Divas one. But if it's not, I really do hope it's Ziggler versus Kofi because I want to get another Dolph Ziggler card. Now, Dolph Ziggler has a special place in my heart. Well, the card, rather, has a special place in my heart because he was my first event PCC card I ever got. And right there you see him, the Survivor version of Dolph Ziggler. I worked my butt off at the time, I thought, anyway, before I started going for the PCC Pros and Top 200s. I worked my butt off for Top 850, which I thought at the time, anyway, to get this card. And me and my brother, my brother actually helped me on the final night because I wanted to get sleep. The final night over, Saturday to Sunday. And so he played for me while I slept. I slept for like four hours only. Woke up, did the rest of the PCC, and ended up getting the Dolph Ziggler card. Which actually helped me grow my deck really a, a lot. Because once I got the Dolph Ziggler card, the next week this card came out. So I had tag compatible event cards which boosted me all the way up to Survivor. And then my first Survivor card was... Emma, so I had a full team ready to go, all ready to go because of Ziggler. So it really set me up nicely, and it, it's really what allowed me to jump up from, I believe I was in Epic tier at the time, to all the way to Survivor cards. So it was really cool, good timing on my part, I guess, and I got really lucky. And so Ziggler, like I said, has a special place in my heart, the card. So I kind of would love to see another Ziggler event card because that's what I... You know, I would definitely go for that card just because it would be another Ziggler card and it would be another up arrow. So that would be kind of cool too. Ziggler's an up arrow. So we'd have tag options of Neville and Ziggler or Kevin Owens and Ziggler. 
just cool cool options for tags so anyways let me know in the comments below what you guys think the pcc is going to be and uh it may have already been revealed by the time this video comes out i don't know but you'll see my reactions in the next video if that's the case so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later and like i said if you're looking for nba 2k action stick around it'll be coming out later today so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later rare spark out